Initially, we intend to do this only at the regional Huduma Centers. There are eight of them, the former district headquarters, but eventually after that we shall reach the other Huduma Centers as well. We are coming here and we shall be doing a program which we shall advertise in the media and also on our website so that Wananchi know where to find us. The Mombasa Huduma Center is our first one today and we shall also be in Eldoret Huduma Center next week. We are here in Mombasa from yesterday up to Friday 17th and in Eldoret from the 20th Monday to Friday the 24th. We, our intention is to avail services to Wanainchi where they are. Currently we are only based in Nairobi. Our headquarters is in Nairobi. We don't have any other office. Uh, we may not have the capacity right now to set up offices countrywide. So the way you can reach Wanainchi is through a mobile clinic. We call it mobile because it moves from place to place. We hope eventually with additional funding we shall be able to set up offices in some of the centers. One of the initiatives we have rolled out recently is to reach out to the informal sector. I have here with me a list which we shall be availing to the Wanainchi of 35 companies that have schemes set up for you as Wanainchi. You can just walk through their door and go and register an account for yourself. So you do not have to be employed by somebody. Even when you're self-employed or you have only one employee, you can go to any of these 35 companies and we'll be going with these lists countrywide and offering them to the Wanainchi. They have their contacts so that Wanainchi know where they can go and set up a scheme for themselves. Now, if you're self-employed, maybe you don't even know how a, a pay slip, you don't have a pay slip, you can go to any of these companies and the minimum they usually expect you to contribute is 50 shillings and I can go to 100 shillings, I can go to 200 shillings. What that then allows is that the common Wanainchi who can only afford 50 shillings a month will be able to start a pension scheme and to sustain it. And if you're not able to contribute at any time, you can agree with the scheme that I'm suspending my contribution because the economy is not doing well and I shall pick up at a later date. In Kenya, we have 1,058 schemes. These are schemes set up by employers. Uh, those schemes have accumulated as at December 2021 a total of 1.5 trillion shillings. This is money belonging to Kenyans working for those schemes. It is also money belonging to those even in the informal sector who have started the schemes that I was talking about, which are managed by the financial institutions. We intend to grow this amount by ensuring it is well regulated to 2.4 trillion shillings by June 2024.